Hello, this is a very quick look at the Creve Mark 5 Prime 4G 5 inch Android phone. This is a very low cost Android phone and it feels it as well. It's very plasticky on the back, so you're not going to get a premium glass finish, but you do get all the standard features headphone socket, USB socket on the top, nothing around the side, volume rocker and power button on the back, and the plastic back is removable. When you take that out, you can see the battery, and this is also where you pop in the SIM card or indeed two SIM cards, as it's a dual SIM phone, and also the micro SD. And you will want to pop one in, as it's very low on memory. At the time of review, this is running Android 5.1, and in the menus, that's fine, it's fairly smooth. This is uh, fairly free of bloatware, actually, very empty phone, and it, that's a very good thing, because it actually ran out of space very quickly. I installed a couple of games, and that was it, completely out of space. You see at the top, I'm getting the warning, internal storage running out. So if you don't have one to hand, make sure you've got a memory card, otherwise this will very quickly stop you from being able to take photos. The 8 megapixel rear camera is pretty laggy, you can see it's very slow to respond when I'm moving the ruler around. And the picture quality, as you kind of expect at this very low budget level, is okay, it's, it's a bit poor to be honest, pictures are quite washed out, you don't really get great colours. And video isn't particularly impressive either, I found the video to be very jerky, very choppy not really capturing the motion very well. So this isn't a phone that you're gonna be using much for photos or video. The one gigahertz processor seems to struggle a little bit with games as well. Although the games are playable, so this is Asphalt 8, it is playable. This is actually quite choppy in comparison to what I've seen it on other phones. It's not quite as silky smooth. One thing I will say though, the five inch screen is a really nice size. And that means when you're playing games that require on-screen controls, you have a nice large surface area and your hands don't get in the way. So this is Modern Combat 5 and you can see I can play it but it is very laggy in use and it's not the best gaming experience I've had on a mobile. In terms of day-to-day -day basics though, this does work fine. You can browse the internet, no problem. Check Facebook, social media, Twitter, all that kind of stuff works fine. And it looks pretty good on this screen. So the only real downside here is if you're someone who likes to play intensive mobile games such as the racing game you saw before or the shooter game in those situations it's going to be a bit laggy and this is definitely not one for those looking to take photos i hope you found this short review useful thanks for watching